Okay, so most of the sounds that you can probably hear in the background, I've got my headphones on so I can hear what the video is sounding like. I have not heard half of these sounds in my entire life. It's noisy. This camera picks up everything. So um, today we're going to talk about this spider here. And she's a lady because her big old booty is very large in size. Males have a much smaller uh, cephalothorax, but uh, this this one does not. We're going to assume it is a female. So the way she's standing tells us it's not a wolf spider because usually they don't stand two and two with their legs like this. Wolf spiders love to be more splayed. They like to be really fanned out. But uh, these do not do that usually. They like to sit this way when they're comfortable. She has been cleaning herself for hours, and you can see, I think you can see, and I'm trying, but she's not facing us right now. But I chose to do this video right now because she's on the ground, and usually she's way up there, so you can get a good look at her markings. And this, this is a beautiful spider. So I... I got her from, I was at work and she was about ready to die because I spray really, really dangerous chemicals and she was in the way of the spray gun and I was like, oh no. So I quickly chugged my water, I safely put her inside my water bottle and then I transferred her to this place. So now she lives in a controlled environment, she doesn't realize that, but she's got everything she needs to be happy. Um, main subject, this is not a wolf spider. I do not know how often I need to tell someone that I'm with or next to. They see one of these and they scream, it's a wolf spider. Just because it's generically mostly brown does not make it a wolf spider. Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> this is a fisher spider. And fisher spiders, not only can they run across water's surface, they can go under the water. And they can get things like little dragonfly larvae, all kinds of cool stuff. But she, she usually, she will eat other things like crickets and things like that, which is why I raise feeder crickets. Kind of like what people have lizards and things like that, because basically it's the same rules apply. Um, you can hear everyone in the house, that's funny. Wolf spiders are really, really hairy, and they're very round looking. Again, this is not a hairy or round-looking spider. They have very, very long, thin legs. They do have little hairs all over their body, which help them to hear, because spiders are deaf. Every spider is deaf. No spider contains eardrums for listening with an auditory organ. And actually, also, uh, these smaller spiders, some larger tarantulas are capable of making some crazy noises. This spider here does not possess a trachea. It does not possess any means at all, any function to make a sound. So you hear in video games or cartoons, a spider is not going to come hissing at you. It's going to be very quiet when it's chasing after you, which makes it even more scary. Also, screaming doesn't do any good either. Because you're not going to do anything to, you know, deter your attacker if that's how you feel. Or unless, of course, if you're like a friend of mine on Facebook who mentioned, if she's going to scream seeing a spider, it's because she hopes someone comes and rescues her. Another little bit about the difference between wolf spiders and fisher spiders is that not only are fisher spiders a very wide variety, there's hundreds of different species within the family in the order and blah 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 blah. So there's, there's a big variety, but... They all have really, really, really crazy, wacky markings that are like, whoa, look at that, that one's beautiful, at least that's how I feel. So, wolf spiders are usually, they're not this prominently colored. And they have two really, really big eyes in the front of their bodies, and smaller eyes surrounding that. But these spiders, man, I don't know if zooming is going to do any good. Oop, lost focus. Camera doesn't like that. Nope, couldn't get a good view. Their eyes are all the same size, basically. They're not programmed 
to see their prey. They're programmed to feel their prey. They're not designed to search for anything. They, they let their food come to them. So that's another big deal. Spiders do not... I mean, unless they're jumping spiders, unless they have big eyes and they are designed for searching for food, these ones are not. Also, fisher spiders can jump a good distance. She can leap from this side of her enclosure to this side of her enclosure if she felt threatened. But she doesn't do it to catch food. I don't know why. I've never seen her do that before. She just sits perfectly still until she... because she can... She can feel the rustling of everything in here because she's got it very carefully webbed. It's all intricately mapped out. She knows where everything is in here, and it's usually very quiet because she's in a plastic force field. Incredibly calm, peaceful environment. So when some prey gets dropped in from the magical doorway of food, she instantly goes into alert mode and waits for it to come to her, and she, the catching is incredible. She moves so fast. Um, sorry if the sound is weird. I'm using my camcorder instead of my cell phone because this way I can make slightly longer videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something about fisher spiders. And this one is called the nursery web. You can learn all about them if you google them. And we have a lot of these where we live, in the upper peninsula of Michigan. Lots of them. And please do not kill them, because they keep away the real pests. And... signing off.